Hello friends, welcome to my tutorial. In today's session, I will teach you on how to configure failover in uh, for the gap. Uh, I have a, a small scenario for you. So to uh, configure the uh, failover in for the gap, let's say here is my scenario. I have um, two ISP, ISP one and ISP two, and that ISP is uh, connected to our for the gap, and then our LAN. Uh, client 002 will be accessed using the this LAN. Okay, so to configure, this is just a small app. Okay, so to configure, uh, first you need to log into your FortiGate. Okay, and then after you log in your FortiGate, uh, you can see uh, ISP1 will connect to port 1 of our FortiGate, and ISP2 will connect to port 2 of our FortiGate. And here is my tip. So I have four steps to configure. First, we configure ISP 1 and 2. Return, we do routing. Third, firewall policy. So all your stuff will be a safety internet. And four, we testing together. Okay. Now he is on my client PC. Let's say is I ping to Google. I check my the client IP. So here's the IP address that I get. Okay, here is the client IP address between string and the, uh, this lab. I haven't uh, configured anything. It cannot access the internet as well. Okay, so first we go to interface. Okay, we need to assign the WAN port the, or the ISP port. Okay, so port 1 will be uh, ISP 1. So I just double click on it to rename so that it will be easy for me to. I recognize. I will put ISP one. Okay, rule will be when port. Okay, and this one is uh is important. A one. Let's say if you get the connection from your ISP manual or static, you need to complete this IP address. Okay, but in this scenario, I will teach only the config uh, the the HTTP. Okay, but for those who have the static IP, mostly I believe that uh, all of you have get the static IP from the ISP. So just import the ISP uh, IP, and then you just click OK. 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 After that, just click OK. Make sure that this one is ticked. Yeah, just click OK. Then I will do the same thing. ISP2 will be connect to port 2. Not only to ISP A1, you can also configure more than two. ISP, ISP2. Okay. So we remember, as I said, this one, you can also use the static or PPOE. Okay. Okay, for port 4, okay, so my client will be connected to port 4. So for the port 4, whether you connect to Cisco speed or typically it doesn't matter. This one I will be uh, rename LAN so that I will be easy for me to remember it. Okay. I will put LAN port this one. Okay, and then the IP address, you can also complete the menu IP address for your LAN. Okay, and then the HP server. This one, okay. So for the network interface, I have already completed the kit. The second step, we need to do the static route. A1, okay. Now we go to static route together. You still go to network, and then you find the static route. It's not really different from load balancing. In the next video, I will teach on how to do uh, load balancing. A1. Okay, start it out. You create. Okay, this one destination still the same interface. I will choose ISP one. Okay, and then I if let's say if you have your gateway IP, you have to just input your gateway IP here. Okay, this is one. Okay, for me I will uh, use Dynamic. Okay. 
Okay, you see, dynamic will be the same. That's why I, I know this one. Okay, I will use dynamic. Okay, this 10 I will uh, tell you later because this one is related to latency. And add one, let's say this one I will. Uh, okay, a little bit less it be full. Okay, let's see the full first. Okay, and then we need to do another start figure out for ISP2. <coughs> ISP2. Okay, this one is actually dynamic, it will be get the gateway of your ISP. Okay, make sure that you have gateway from your ISP provider. This one you have to specify and input over here. Okay. Okay, let's say this one, uh, add one. You can also explore more or you can go to uh, for to get a cookbook. You will be know more about this one. Uh, I will dis use this one as number one, number two. Okay. Understand the code. 20. Because I want to do, I want to make ISP2 as my backup only. Oh, we can change a uh, letter for this one. Okay. So after you already configured the uh, start the cloud, we need to allow our uh, firewall to access to the internet. Okay, because now our client haven't accessed the internet yet. Okay, now we go to network. Uh, sorry, we go to firewall uh, policy, security profile. Okay, policy and object. Firewall policy. Okay, this one has to do uh, two times. Okay, I will be the queue internet. For example, okay, example. Okay, my, in, my incoming will be my land port. Outcoming, my SP one. Okay, source. This one you can specify your land, but I will put all here. All. Okay. Okay. And then I also do the same thing. My passive in the access. I will put passive internet stuff. Stuff. Coming. Coming, my SP2. Okay, so service all. I choose all. But this one, you I recommend to use your LAN, everyone. Okay. And. Okay. Not in the ball. Okay. Okay, let's see if our staff have access to the internet yet. I will google.com. Okay, you can see now our staff can be accessed to the internet. Okay. <clears throat> it can be accessed to the one because this one is depend on the connection. Okay, okay. Now I will check browser. Okay, I want to check which IP, which public IP that uh, my client get. Okay, here is the gateway of my plan. Okay, and here is the IP, public IP of our server. Okay, so let's say A1. Let's say it's one ISP down. Okay, uh, I will go to my interface. Okay, I will go to my interface. 
and let's say it's uh, one of my ISP down, for example, this one, or this one is disabled. Okay, let's say it's the ISP uh, 2 is disabled. Okay, you see, now Windows 1 connection is down, another connection will be uh, take over. Okay. I want to know which public IP. This one it should be ten dot ten dot ten dot twenty because I disconnect uh ten dot ten dot thirty. Okay, so the internet is this one, correct? Okay. Now let's say if I disable the connection from ISP one. Okay, let's see if we still can access the internet or not. Okay, I go to my interface. And then I will enable this one. Okay. Okay. And then I disable this one. Okay. See? Four. Okay, you see, even though one ISP is down, another IP will be or will be take over. And you can also see the, the tracer here, the ISP that uh, it can get from. It should be ten dot ten dot thirty. Okay, 10.10.30. Okay, now I, I I would like to tell you um, one thing, everyone. Uh, for the static route, there is an important uh, place that you need to consider. Static route over here. Okay, uh, this one, as you can see, uh, the, the the stand and also the priority uh this one is the lowest number so the connection will the, the priority will be this one okay and if the the stand is more bigger so this one uh, will be coming the second you can also edit here and change over here let's say it's a chain you can also see this this description administrative distance is used to determine the cost of route smaller distance are considered as better so uh, unless it is uh, smaller, so this one will be the priority one. And you can also add, uh, set here the priority. Okay, priority this one, the smallest, also be the the better one as well. So you can, if you want to know more clear about this, you can also go to uh, for the get cookbook. You will be understand more about this one. Okay, I won't be detailed in here. Okay, uh, so that's all for the relation. I hope that you find this lesson useful. See you in the next video. Bye bye.